I think that hyperactive kids are adrenaline kids, you know. Uh, they're having food and chemical sensitivities and, and uh, the sugar is driving them crazy. I mean, every school teacher will say that their, their, their class goes crazy after the lunch and the kids are sitting there eating all this junk food for, for lunch. It's the sugar. And, and the body, to regulate blood sugar, then puts out adrenaline. And uh, So anyway, we get these kids with hyperactivity uh, off the sugars and then we look for their food and chemical sensitivities because it may not be just sugar. It, it may be uh, a certain chemical diet. I remember the Feingold diet, which was, uh, was vogue years and years ago. Feingold worked for the Kaiser across uh, the bay and uh, I, I can remember going to a conference where one of the residents that worked with Feingold said that one day he came into the old man's office and uh, he had this book on his desk, uh, Sugar Blues, and he said when Feingold came in the office, he said, Sir, do you, you think that sugar has anything to do with hyperactivity? And he paused for a minute and said, Of course it does. It's the prime cause. But when you take kids off of all of the food colorings, you take them off of 90% of the sugar, and you don't take on the giant. So Feingold was very aware of the fact that sugar was the main problem with hyperactivity, but he concentrated on the food colorings so the sugar industry wouldn't go after.